Hello everyone, welcome along to The Races TV and uh, this week I've got the National Jockeys Trust tie on and we're going to catch up with Justin Potter involved in that very serious race fall at Port Lincoln earlier in the month of January and uh, when we show you the vision and have a chat to Justin you'll understand why it is oh so important to su uh, support the National Jockey Trust. Let's have a look at the diary for racing coming up in South Australia this week. On Saturday we're at Morfordville, it's a very good program. The feature race is the sold by Luke Domingo, Rain Lover Plate. On Sunday we go racing at Port Lincoln and next Wednesday we're racing at Gawler. Fantastic to catch up with Justin Potter who has not ridden since that terrible fall at Port Lincoln uh, earlier this month. Uh, Justin, how are you going mate with your recovery? Yeah, not too bad, thanks Terry. Uh, things are sort of just sort of, just got to let, let them heal and, and um, but no, I've just been relaxing at home. Got to spend a bit of time with my girls over the holidays so it's ended up being not too bad. What do you remember about the fall, Justin? Yeah, pretty much everything, you know, sort of thing. Uh, I sort of was probably a little bit further back than what I uh, suspected, and uh, but uh, just remember, just before the the fall, I ended up coming off the fence, and I just seen just something out of the corner of my eye, up in front there, and and then next thing, I started sort of moving, and you know it wasn't long; it all happened pretty quick, and then had horses hind quarters in front of me, and next thing there was legs and and everything, and just nowhere to go, just straight over the top, and, and felt my horse get grabbed by legs, and down we went. So yeah. I went, made my way around to the crash scene uh, more than half an hour after the fall actually happened at that stage. Uh, you were popped up against the uh, the running rail, um, sitting down and ha had quite a bit of blood coming from the nose and at that stage it was uh, feared that you just had a, a badly broken nose but the injuries were a lot worse than that. Yeah, yeah, you know, sort of, I felt like I pretty much knew the nose was broken and uh, like I said to the paramedics, like a lot of blood there going and, but every time I swallowed it was a little, little bit crackly up the top of you. So, Sort of thought it might be a bit worse than that, and uh, when the X-rays come, they said, "Yeah, multiple fractures across the top here, and rotated this jaw or touch." And so, yeah, it was a lot, lot worse than what I suspected, but it wasn't sort of too bad. It was sort of, yeah, but it was a crash scene for sure. What have the doctors done for you? They put a uh, titanium plate in this side down here, and then a titanium plate down here on the side of the nose there, and um, wired up my jaw because when I was trying to shut my teeth together, it actually moved my jaw. And, I mean, cheekbones and it was a bit messy up the top there, but uh, they actually went in underneath the lip and uh, fixed it all up and then went in through the eye on this close one here and basically no visible scars and just got to fix up my teeth, but uh, you know, a few cheap teeth, but it's been pretty good, like they just wired it up and, and six weeks so I should be structurally stone, as hard as a stone, you reckon, so yeah. No lamb chop on Australia Day, I would imagine? No, no, it's disappointing there, I can't wait to chew on a chop or something like that, but yeah, so I had to to eat wee Vicks instead for Australia Day, so that's as close as I got. So what are you eating and drinking at this stage? Yeah, I sort of, the water and, you know, I can drink a bit and, uh, but uh, yeah, everything gets sort of good, mashed up, mashed potato, eggs, like um, a lot of yogurt and soup, soup, and getting into the potato, uh, pumpkin soup, and, uh, but yeah, no, everything's soft, it's sort of gone back to baby stage, all baby food, so to speak. <laughs> I know you love your Bundy, you got your Bundaberg shirt on actually, uh, still okay to get some of those Bundys in? Yeah, I've had a, had a few frothies there, so, but uh, but yeah, no, it's been pretty good, like I haven't had painkillers for the last couple of weeks, pain's very minimal, um, just a little bit annoying with the uh, with the wires, but pain's been good, and yeah, I've been able to just sort of just relax, and actually it's been real good, I've been caught up with my girls the last couple, couple of weeks of their holidays, so got to spend a very good, valuable time with your girls, so it's been good. And on a more serious note, uh, as far as race riding is concerned, when will, will you be back? Yeah, I hope all going well. Um, on the 20th of February, I'll go to the Royal Adelaide and um, and they'll assess all my structure and, and hopefully take the wires off. And then um, then we'll go from there. But we're pretty much a week after that on the on the 26th of February. That's my uh, date. Hopefully that I'll be able to get back out and get doing it. Um, like they said, you know, I could ride a little bit of work, but don't fall off or don't get hit and, and as you know you know if you've got a sore thumb or sore finger sore anything a horse is always going to bump it so I just said to the doc I said yeah well we'll just you know go the six weeks and uh, hopefully we're structurally strong and then we'll just get back on and, and go the way we have you know I've been riding the push bike and trying to keep my legs sort of still going and, and uh, weight's been good so yeah we should be able to hopefully step straight back into it. Good on you mate you're one of the great characters of the saddle here in South Australia we hope to see you back uh, by the end of February. No thank you very much I mean, can't wait.
So a big thank you to Justin Potter. Now, just on those other fallen riders out of that uh, race fall at Port Lincoln that are yet to resume riding, Adrian Patterson, a badly broken left collarbone. He has had a plate put in that. Pato hopes to be back in about two months' time, but uh, plenty of good news coming up for Pato. His daughter Hayden starts school next Monday, and his wife Donna expecting another baby on Monday week. So some good news for Adrian Patterson. Lawrence Diarkovic, bad news for Lauren at this stage. Uh, apart from the fracture to her elbow, she's got ligament issues uh, in parts of her body. She's also got a torn ligament in her thumb, and she's got a shoulder that may require some surgery as well. So Lauren, perhaps like Adrian Patterson, the best case scenario will return in about two months' time. Quickly, Morpheville on Saturday. The two big highlights there, the return to racing of Philip Stokes star, three-year-old Hucklebuck. Have a look at that. He's got plenty of weight, 59 and a half kilos in race number two. That should be a terrific race. And race seven, the feature race on the program, the uh, quality rain lover plate sold by Luke Domingo. And uh, that, of course, is a stepping stone for a lot of horses heading towards the Birthday Cup and then maybe even onto the Adelaide Cup in March. We'll see you again next week for the Races TV. There's nothing like a day at the races.